Hello, this is Paul from quickandmobile.com and I have a very exciting video that we are going to make with the 2021 Electra 7 Power Folding Wheelchair and all that comes with it and all of the different features of adjustability. This is a great opportunity to click the pause button if you are finding us on YouTube so you can learn where to find us online. We have the description as well. Now the Electra 7 is a total of 50 pounds with no batteries and it has two batteries that remove. It is an FAA travel compliant chair. It is 58 pounds with both batteries. Now I am working with just one hand so I'm going to do the best I possibly can with measurements but please cut me a little bit of slack if you think that things are just slightly messy with the camera. So we're looking at about 31 inches of height, between 31 and 32 inches of height, folded up. And if we take a look at the basket, we're looking, so I'm going to kind of go along with the bottom of the basket there. We're looking at about 14 inches when the chair is actually folded and you can see, that when the chair is folded, it has space for the wheels to fit right in between the supported arm rests. Now, this chair is probably our most popular chair. There's many reasons why. So let's go ahead and unfold it. And you can see that I unfolded it just with one hand it's in freewheel mode, very easy to maneuver with one hand. The chair does just about anything that I would like it to do. Now, a lot of people ask, what's the difference between the Electra 7 and the Eagle? There's only one difference, and that is the space in between the armrests. The Eagle has just under 19 inches of space. This has just a fraction under 21 inches of space and the overall width of the chair is 24 inches. Now we do have an armrest spacer kit that adds another three and a half inches of space or three and a half inches of width. So we have those few components that are taken care of. One of the first things, especially if you've watched these videos before about Electra 7s, I haven't had my hands on a brand new one in a while. There's a quick release latch so that is an improvement and an upgrade. I just push on the back of the chair as I unlatch the chair. And even with one hand, it is excessively easy to basically fold the chair up. I just have to make certain that the wheels are out of the way here. So both wheels are kind of out of the way at the frame of the chair and, and I can just finish pushing the chair, pulling the chair to my body. So it's very simple to fold and very simple to unfold as well. Now you will see that I do have the cushions. I'm gonna do some measurements on the cushions, but the cushions sit on top of an actual harness. So the seat harness. Now this is a great feature of this chair. You can see the seat harness is adjustable. So if I want more firmness in the seat, I can make this more firm. If I want more firmness in the backrest, you can kind of see that I can make this more firm in the backrest as well. And I do have the ability, believe it or not, to create a different varying level of lumbar support with this specific chair. Now the chair itself is made from aircraft quality aluminum or 7003 grade aluminum. And we have the back of the chair, the cushion that fits right over the back of the chair. I've just taken it out of the package. So brand new, hasn't even been driven yet. That basically will fit right, right over top. And that's, that's the way that it kind of looks going in. So it secures into place. And then of course, you have the lumbar support that goes underneath this. And we have made a couple changes to this cushion. Okay, so this cushion, it is breathable fabric. 
and it is, you're able to take the cushion cover off and, and wash the cushion cover here. A lot of people find that to be a great feature. And if we take a look at the overall width, this now measures, excuse the slight fumbling. This cushion is just a fraction under 21 inches of width. So the cushion itself, it is about 16 and a half inches of depth. And of course this is gonna change while you're sitting on it, but you have about, let's say a good two and a half inches of thickness. So that goes right on top of the seat harness. You can see it fits nice and snug in that chair. Very comfortable chair to sit in. You can see that the chair is ergonomically designed to begin with. So it's not an adjustable recliner like the Falcon is, but it does slightly recline and it does have the rear fenders. That is a great feature that people really like. Now this chair, you've got one, two, 250 watt brushless hub motors. Now brushless is very important because you're not operating in an environment where there's friction. So it's, it's not inherently built to break. I know that there's other chairs on the market. I'm not gonna mention any names. They use brushed motors. Any of those chairs that have the brushed motors, give it a good couple years and you'll most likely be replacing the motors. And of course you have the reflective material as well. Uh, you have the fenders. I took one fender covering off. This is just how they were packaged. I left the other ones. And of course you have the Dura shocking system as well. This is designed to absorb energy from the ground as you're driving your chair. Now, of course you see this is on the carpet. It can drive in the carpet. It can drive on uh, hard floors and you can take this outside as well. Grass, gravel, all those are fine. Just be careful about what you're getting into. Hiking trails is fine and uh, there's, there's many more. We've made a lot of different videos about those features. And I also wanna point out the actual quality of the welds here. These chairs are very carefully built. They're rated to hold up to 400 pounds. And you can see that the actual weld quality, it, it's quite obvious that a good amount of time has been taken to actually construct each and every chair. And each and every chair is actually tested before it leaves the factory for reliability. This is not a battery pack, that's actually the motherboard. And there's a lot of other folding chairs that they have like the a little cage kind of underneath the chair and a battery pack underneath the cage. I personally refer to that as the back breaker style. Who wants to get on their hands and knees and yank a battery out? I certainly don't. Uh, I like the batteries that are basically in the front of the chair. So you can see the batteries, each battery weighs four pounds. And, and as I mentioned, they are FAA travel compliant. Um, the chair has smart technology. It will run from one battery. It works better with two. And of course we have the Sensi Touch joystick. Now this joystick, I only have one battery actually making contact with the chair. So you can see that the joystick works. It has a built-in horn and an adjustable speed lever as well. The chair goes about four miles per hour. And as the batteries discharge, you'll just simply see these lights go out. So basically they just disappear. And when you get down to about here, about here, it's a great time to recharge the chair very simple off button as well. The Sensi Touch joystick allows you to go in any direction. So the chair does have a full range of motion. However you touch the joystick is the direction that the chair goes. And the chair also, these you might think are small features, but they're not. If we take a look kind of at the side of the chair. Now I've done a lot of videos where I've balanced on arms of these chairs. If I had somebody holding the camera for me right now, I would do another one. Holds up to 400 pounds and the armrests both lift up. 
Right now you see the joystick on the right side of the chair. The joystick can be mounted very easily to the left side of the chair. You see there's just a, a blank right there in the left side. And we'll just go ahead and get this up as well. So you can see that you would have a very easy time mounting or dismounting from the side. And a beautiful feature about this chair that a lot of people are exceptionally happy with is that the foot rest actually will go flush with the chair. So there is nothing that will stick out from the chair and negatively affect it. So let's go ahead and just put the foot rest back down here and take a look at actually the, the front of the chair. We have the reflective material on the front casters and again, I want to point out the actual weld quality here. Very, very high quality of welds. And heavy duty front casters. We have a leg extension kit that you can put into the chair, fully adjustable. I've made several videos on that. And we have the ability to charge the batteries outside of the chair or basically charge the batteries in the chair. Now each battery itself has a, a reader, tells you how full it is. And part of the attachments that we have given you, you have what's called a pigtail attachment. And that pigtail attachment connects directly to your charger and allows you to charge individual batteries outside of the chair. So that's huge. Now with the accessories, we have a seat belt. Now the seat belt is not actually attached to the chair and it is adjustable. I've made several videos about the seat belt. You can attach the seat belt where many people would, or you can attach the seat belt up higher on the chair. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for any additional information that we will have published about the seat belts, or you can just visit the channel. It's on several videos. Now these lock into place very firm. So as I'm putting those armrests down, you can see that there's just a latch right on the side that locks into place. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna take a look right here. You can kind of see that there's a latch on the inside of the chair that will hold the batteries in place as well. You can kind of see it right there. Um, just because I only have utility of one hand right now while I'm making this video, I decided to kind of pre-loosen the battery. Um, but again, you have the batteries that are actually in the frame of the chair. That design really lets me actually get in the chair, be sitting in the chair, and while I'm seated in the chair, I can take the batteries out if I want to. So it's a lot better than what I would consider to be that back breaker design of actually having a battery underneath the chair. And it's nice just to be able to deal with one hand for the batteries, easy to work with. Now, we also do give you a tool kit. This will fit just about any bolt on the chair, and then we have the two different Allen wrenches. Um, these are great for attaching the headrest as well. There's an optional headrest that you can get with the chair. Many people get the headrest, it attaches directly to the chair. And we have two levers back here that will change the chair from a chair that is in freewheel to a chair that is an actual power chair. So let's go ahead and turn the actual device on. You can hear the electromagnetic motors disengaging and engaging. Chair is very quiet to use. Chair goes off, does a little beep to let you know that it's off, and that's very nice. Now the charger itself, it's an international household charger. So this charger, you can plug it in 110 or 220. We give you the uh, plug for uh, a US-based outlet, but you could charge it in, or you could basically get an adapter and use that um, in any way that you would want if you're traveling overseas or outside of the States. So let's go ahead and take a look at the joystick here. And with the joystick, you have the ability to actually charge both batteries at the same time. We can see in the end of the charger how we have those three prongs that just match, match right up. So it's real simple to use. We'll just go ahead and get this plugged in. 
doing all this with one hand, you can see that what I've done is it's, it's telling me right now that the actual chair is charging. That's going to change color when the chair is actually full. Um, being that this is brand new out of the box, it usually takes about, well, I like to charge it for a good four or five hours um, directly from the rip and the chair works spectacular. It's already charged. Uh, but still, I like to, for the first time, keep those battery cells in good condition. Now, we take a look at the actual, actual rear wheels. People really like the traction of these rear wheels. People like the fact that we have used really a very high quality polyurethane. So there's no inner tube. Not going to drive over a tack and you're not going to get a flat tire. These are 12 inches by 2 inches. And these wheels, unlike the chairs that have the gray wheels, the first time you take the chair outside, if you've got the gray wheels or if you're not the cleanest person in the world and you go over a carpet that's a little bit slick, those wheels are going to end up looking nasty after probably about a week if it's just indoor use. Or if it's outdoor use, those wheels are going to look nasty the first time you take the chair outside. So there really has been no stone unturned with the actual design specifically of this chair. So we're going to go ahead and put this back down. I've gone over uh, many of the different elements here. The chair is weather resistant. I'm not gonna say waterproof. Nobody has a waterproof chair. And if anybody says that they do have a waterproof chair, I would encourage you to read the fine print on their website because they're being entirely dishonest. A couple more things that we'll go over, um, a couple accessories here. We have the Samson case. Now this Samson case, hard shell case. If you do get this chair for traveling, the chair fits perfectly in the Samson case. It doesn't matter how rough or abusive the folks at the airport are, they are not going to wreck or ruin your brand new Electra 7. Now, this chair is absolutely spectacular for portable mobility. It's a very easy solution for mobility hardships, but there are people that they love the chair. It's great once you're in the chair, but it will rob the independence or the whole idea of getting a chair um, because Sitting down and standing up is a hardship and you need an aid to sit down and stand up because the person that is taking care of you or helping with your care may not have the physical strength and ability. So on the checkout page, we do have the portable pull bar. Now this is adjustable in height as well. And you can see that this basically very easily works in conjunction with the chair. Now, if I was sitting in the chair, all I would have to do is actually grab this bar and physically pull myself up, pull my hips up. So a lot of people can pull themselves up and adversely, I weigh close to 200 pounds um, to have you know, if I had a female caretaker that was, was petite, she's not going to lift me up, but she could basically very easily just swing this foot bar down on this portable pull bar. And I'm not going to be able to, to pull her back no matter how hard I pull. So you have a lot of different complementary products as, as well to really make chairs like portable mobility chairs, a full-fledged and viable solution. The, the cushion is a bit of an upgrade from before, so the cushion has been made wider. And like I said, we do have a spacer kit that would allow you to take this from 21 inches or just under 21 inches of space, as we saw, to another uh, three and a half inches, so 22, 23, 24 and a half inches of space in between the armrests. Now, I don't know what other questions you may have or what other areas I may not have covered. If, if you feel that's the case, please do feel welcome to leave a comment in the comment section. 
Um, and if you want to find additional information out about the chair, you can visit us online, quickandmobile.com. Thank you so much for watching.